Chi, Brush Painting for Beginners. Today we're going to do um, Dutch Iris on black shun paper. And we're going to use gold, silver, and Sakura white, which is a gouache white, to achieve the transparency on the black paper. Um, simple strokes, if you have done the lesson one grass orchid, you should be able to do this uh, subject. But I do want to show you some techniques for um, advanced people that how to use the gold, silver, and sakura white on the black paper still show the transparency, not all flat, one tone, and opaque. Um, the markup on the first one is I we did a one I did one um, blue on white paper. This is my markup, so you can see very clearly that the strokes and construction of this um, subject that inspired by. Then after that, the next development is then I try a different um, color. Um, use maca, which has one, two, three, four, five, six different kinds. Uh, white gold and silver and bronze and pure gold in the, in the maca color. I also use uh, Sakura silver jar and Sakura white. Uh, black, uh, I'm sorry, Sakura gold, and then Sakura white. To interchangeable, to achieve um, different variations. And I go buy some uh, sample painting. This is the one that a little bit more complicated. I have Sakura white and silver as the main um, tone for the subject, and then I use some of the gold to achieve mecca gold, and then uh, gold jar to achieve to accent. I think this is the, my favorite one. And then the next one, mostly are using gold. Mecca gold in, from this palette, and then the gold jar as the main, and then I use the silver from the jar to accent it. So this is mainly in gold. This one is mostly white with some gold accent. This is white, silver, and gold as accent. This one, I decided to do a uh, softer. So mostly I use the Mecca six color set, which give you a better transparency, but not as intense. And then I use the um, gold, from the Sakura jar, and then silver from Sakura jar to accent. I think that this is pretty nice. All right, the the body of um, work is done. And then I'm going to show you the color. I have Mecca six color palette and then Sakura gold, Sakura silver, and then Sakura white. Black shun paper, and then I'm going to use two brushes. This is Lotus um, Lotus paddle brush. I like this brush versus the, you can use large flow, which is a little bit on the softer side or large orchid. 
which has less volume. So this brush has the character of the bounciness of the orchid bamboo, but then still has more volume than orchid bamboo. Uh, it's a little bit, um, has more body than the large flow. That's why I choose this brush. Now I have a small um, OAS flow brush for the smaller area. All right. So I pre-mixed the Sakura white on the on this dish like a milk. And then I wet all the Mecca six different colors. And then I'm going to dish out some gold from the jar put in this dish. And then silver on this dish. This would be a very good combination if you uh, want to do any subject on black paper. I'm choosing the, the Dutch iris today is because it's really easy strokes and the easy composition. So then you only have to worry about how the color transparency achieve on the black paper, not to worry about how to line up all the strokes. Okay, I'm wetting my lotus petal brush. I'm going to use mostly this brush and then I load white generously about a third to the brush and then I'm going to rinse the tip off and then I'm going to use some of the silver and white gold in this palette and then mix Little silver from the jar for the intensity. So make sure nothing is clunky on the brush so you won't have that pasty look. So I'm going to do the first petal a little gold from the Forty-five degree that brush on the paper to achieve, and then gold from the jar.
then more white on the body of the brush. Rinse it off the tip. White gold from Mecca color and white silver from Mecca color and blend. And touch on the gold from the jar. White gold and silver mixed. I'm going to do the um, this thing to hold the flower. And then I'm going to use the floor brush with the gold from the Mecca and then the gold jar. So I get a very intense glow. And this is what I'm going to do, the center of the flower. Okay. And then, the tip off white gold and silver and mix a little bit gold so so I want you um, if the camera can catch me so you can see that the intense color is on the side but then I still have the transparency so the um, secret is make sure that they are not all one flat silver or gold tone. So this is go from the jar on accent. So then I finish my um, gold on the black paper and I hope you enjoyed it and that I use different dry texture as well as the, uh, um, the white as a base to show the transparency so nothing is pasty. So hope you have a good time to play with it. This is a good um, 
combination, you can paint anything on black paper, show the depth of the gold and, and uh, uh, silver and white. So not one pasty, one color.